Hi everyone, you're just in time for another great story. Who Wants Broccoli? by Val Jones A hodgepodge of pets lived at Beasley's animal shelter. There were hamsters and guinea pigs, parrots and bunnies, kittens and turtles, and... Broccoli. Broccoli had lived at Beasley's animal shelter for almost his whole life. Early each morning, Mrs. Beasley brushed and fluffed all the animals. When she finished, Mrs. Beasley would say, There's a lid for every pot and a pot for every lid. Then she opened the shelter for business. All day, every day, Broccoli watched as people came in to pick out their perfect pet. Broccoli loved to show everyone how high he could throw his bowl into the air and catch it every time. He would show them how fast he could run by chasing his tail around and around. Then he would show off his great big bark. He barked when the desk dinger dingled. He barked when the doorbells tinkled. He barked when the telephone jingled. Everyone covered their ears when the big barker let loose. One day, while Broccoli watched out his window, a big truck rolled up. A boy named Oscar and his mom were moving into the house across the street. Mom had promised Oscar he could adopt a pet as soon as they were settled in. Oscar imagined how much fun it would be to play in his new yard with a big, fun dog. Broccoli imagined how much fun it would be to play in a yard with a boy. Broccoli was so excited. He jumped his biggest jump, barked his biggest bark, then picked up his bowl filled with water and tossed it as high as he could. He soaked everybody in the shelter. Mr. Beasley mopped and mumbled, This noisy, messy pot will never find a lid. Then Mr. Beasley pushed Broccoli's cage into the storeroom, where he couldn't cause any more trouble. Without anyone to see his tricks, Broccoli slid his bowl off his head. Then he sat quietly, completely ignoring his tail. When he heard the desk dinger dingle, Broccoli rolled his eyes. When the doorbells tinkled, he circled once, then lay down. And when the telephone jingled, he just poked his nose out of the cage and snortled. The next Saturday morning, Oscar and his mom headed to Beasley's animal shelter. Oscar was sure he heard barking just the other day and could not wait to pick out his perfect pet. Mrs. Beasley told Oscar's mom that all the animals in the shelter were very well behaved. How about a sweet soft bunny? Or a cute furry hamster? Or an adorable kitten? Or maybe a clever turtle? Oscar slowly shook his head. Mom said, maybe we need to look at another shelter tomorrow. Then Oscar and his mom headed home. As they reached their front door, Oscar remembered his ball. When they returned to the shelter, Mom and Oscar looked everywhere. But even with Mrs. Beasley's help, Oscar's ball could not be found. That was because Mr. Beasley had put the ball in the storeroom when he was cleaning up. But wait! The ball! The boy! What could Broccoli do? Bark! 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 Just what I wanted, Oscar exclaimed, a big fun dog! So Oscar and his mom picked Broccoli as their perfect pet. Then, as Mrs. Beasley helped Mom and Oscar adopt Broccoli, something wonderful happened. Broccoli found his lid.
Thanks for joining me today. Check out these links for more great stories. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe.